stop sign here, full stop, it's gonna do, and then should creep forward. Actually, that was a rolling stop by the FSD. It did not fully stop there. No input by me, but it did not go down to zero. Hey everyone, Will here from All Electric, back again with another video. And today we're looking at software update. 2025.26.8. So this is just minor fixes. So if you recall in the last software update, we did get the Grok beta, we did get the dash cam update, um, and then a couple other things as well. But what I wanna be doing in this is a, uh, I've noticed that the car is doing a couple things that are quite magical. So I'm trying to recreate that here. So let's jump right into a test drive. Okay, so here we go. We're at a farm stand here and we have uh, you know quite a lot of traffic. I'm gonna go ahead and press the start FSD supervised button. I am buckled sitting in the seat. The car is in park and all I have to do is press this button here on the hardware version four car. Uh, this is our 2023 20, Model Y. Do have a pedestrian right here that the car is slowing down for very accurately. Excellent job by the FSD there. Really just even just pulling out. Now this is where it's gonna get really challenging and I have noticed that my hardware three uh, my Model 3 running Hardware 3 struggles a ton with this. So this is a single lane. Um, we're making a left-hand turn, left turn signal is on, and a lot of heavy traffic and it is quite challenging. So it has to be pretty assertive here and the Model 3 just cannot do it. So you can see here that this motorcycle did pause and now it is going and that was pretty safe. If I turn this on, you can see that there was a truck coming but there was a small gap there and the Tesla has to be really assertive in that particular situation. And the Model 3, the hardware version three car, just can't be that assertive, at least in my software testing or my real world testing of that particular hardware. Whatever version that the Model 3 is running, the hardware version three is running, is just not up to par with this hardware version four car. Like you can see how relatively easily it pulled and made that left turn where the hardware version 3 really struggles in that particular situation. Now I want to hear from you guys because I know a lot of you guys have a hardware 4 car or a lot of you have the hardware 3 car. So let me know down in the comment section below if you guys are experiencing something similar in terms of the hardware 3 lacking behind. Lagging behind the hardware 4. Now along with that I want to say that we are truly blessed and we are going to be purchasing the Cybertruck. So I did do a post on X. If you don't follow me there, there's a link down below in the description, right below the like button. I did do a post there telling everybody that I did order the Cybertruck. So that's coming in a couple weeks and uh, we are selling our Model 3. And so I will no longer be able to test the hardware version 3 for you guys, but I will still be testing not only the Cybertruck, I will also be testing this hardware version 4 Model Y still. Now a two lane road here, we are in hurry as you can see here, and it's going one mile per hour over the speed limit. So in hurry, I wanna see the car go a lot faster. I wanna see it going up to the max speed I believe I have set is 54 miles per hour here, but there is, you can see a huge gap in front of us for the car. I wanna see hurry mode actually hurry. To me, it's driving in chill. It's going two miles per hour over, one mile per hour over the speed limit. This is chill. It's going way too slow. Now we're approaching our right-hand turn. On this two-lane highway, it's doing an excellent job. I can't, I don't have any critiques for the hardware four on this two-lane highway other than that speed. Right turn signal comes on, smooth transition into this turn lane, then starts to slow down. Perfect job by the FSD smooth right turn excellent job by the fsd supervised now speeding up 35 mile an hour speed limit here again in hurry mode i want to see it go above that speed limit so we are at about 38. smooth around this curve here it curves but it's not slowing down Older versions of the FSD and autopilot would slow down significantly on that curve or on this incline here where it can't see what's around. Excellent job by the FSD here. Left turn signal does come on. We're making a left turn here to follow the navigation. Proper slowdown and smooth turn. Again, excellent job 
by this hardware four. We are not even on version 13 of the FSD. Left turn signal does come on. All right, I meant to say version 14, which Elon did um, do an X post about, I think last week. So as soon as we get version 14, it's just gonna get even better. You can see going in a residential area. So I don't believe that it's 35 mile an hour speed limit anymore, but the FSD is smart enough to realize that it's probably 25 miles an hour and that's why it is going in that lower 20 range. Left turn signal, smooth left turn again. I am gonna disengage because I just picked a random house if it does go to turn in the driveway. So just be aware of that. So it looks like the random house I picked was this one. Let's see if it just kind of pulls up front and stops. So the navigation has kind of ceased and completed. And so I'm gonna push the my foot on the pedal because I thought it was gonna pull in there and we don't wanna disturb anyone. So I'm gonna pull around here and put it back into park. And it looks like the next random destination point I have set in is already there. I'm gonna hold this down shifts itself in the drive, realizes that it needs to go forward. Object path detected, there's nothing, nothing there. Take over to proceed, it says. Still turning the wheel. I think it's like this edge of the road and I didn't have to do any input. It was able to figure it out. Excellent job by the FSD. This hardware version four is seeming to do just an excellent job. So I cannot wait to get my hands on this version 14. That's supposed to be, you know, so many times better than this version. Stop sign here, full stop, it's gonna do, and then should creep forward. Actually, that was a rolling stop by the FSD. It did not fully stop there. No input by me, but it did not go down to zero. Um, I'm not mad at that because that's how most people drive, especially in this type of scenario when there was obviously no cars around. Now the speed limit has been updated. Before, when I was coming into this little neighborhood, it said 35, now it says 25. Right turn signal does come on. Let's see if it rolls through this stop sign. Clear stop sign over there. Oh, uh, it almost was going to, but then went down to zero. Smooth right turn, turn signal comes off. Excellent job by the FSD. So here's where, I'm gonna disengage and here's why. So I'm gonna push my foot on the pedal and leave a note. Navigation incorrect, car should be turning left. So I wanna show this to you guys real quick. So it wants to go out here back to the highway and then go all the way around here to this point that I picked. But this road goes right here and connects. Now that's where the navigation is gonna be really frustrating when you get into a robo taxi situation and there's no steering wheel because I know as a human that this road, and clearly you can see on the map, that this road goes left and I can easily avoid this whole roundabout and just turn left and then, you know, avoid this traffic, avoid this highway and get to my destination faster. But there's no way to tell the car that you can see that's not an option. So that's definitely an improvement that needs to be done. The navigation, I've been saying that for a couple years now, the navigation does need to be improved. So what I'm gonna try and do here is I'm gonna drive, so I'm driving right now, I'm gonna turn left, I'm gonna put my left turn signal on, no traffic coming. Um, and now I'm gonna turn, let's see if the navigation, so now the navigation updated, which is kind of bizarre to me. So I just turned the FSD back on, and again, if you're watching any of my videos or any FSD testing video, as soon as you see this blue steering wheel up here, and I put this always rainbow road on for you guys, whenever you see the rainbow road of blue steering wheel, you know the car is driving. So this does turn into a bit of gravel up here and possibly that's why the FSD um, did have us routing around, but really it's, you know, <laughs> this is a much faster way. I'm not sure, I'm sure you guys can let me know down in the comment section uh, what my ETA changed to down here on the center display. So in hurry mode, 35 mile an hour speed limit, going about 36. I do wanna see it go a little bit faster. Like if I was driving on this road, I'd probably go in about 40, maybe 42 miles an hour. But again, it's really hovering close to the speed limit. 
This is more of a chill or a standard mode, in my opinion. Excellent job, no lane markings in maintaining that right hand position. Previous versions of the FSD would go in the center incorrectly. Transitioning to gravel right now. Excellent job by the FSD, still maintaining that speed. I do notice that the speed limit incorrectly went down to 25 miles an hour, which I believe is incorrect. I think it stays 35, but I could be wrong. So even with the 25 mile an hour speed limit, it is going painfully slow. This is not hurry mode. And that kind of sums up what I'm feeling with this particular software update. It's, gonna, it's supposed to be turning left here. I'm gonna go ahead and disengage and end the test here. So what I wanna see out of hurry mode, car is driving way too slow. So in hurry mode, especially on a 25 mile an hour speed limit zone, let's go like at least three miles per hour over. As you saw, even though the video was fast back there, it was still not even getting up to that 25 mile an hour speed limit. I really wanna see, and that's kind of what I'm feeling with this particular software update in the hardware version four car, is that it's going a little too slow. I would say I'm in hurry, but it's driving like it should be on chill. I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Thanks so much for watching and share this video with a friend. And I'll be sure to do more software updates as I find little things like this with later versions of the FSD. As always, thank you guys for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.